Hello, today I'm going to do a small review of the NJAC 8 uh, recording studio app for Android devices. Uh, let me start by, by the top left corner where you have a small arrow that will hide or show expanding uh, your tracks. The tracks you are using you can expand it a bit more by clicking here. Let's get that to the initial position. Okay, this uh, green grid here is uh, where you choose your quantization. So um, very useful when you are going to, for example, create a, a, a loop. A loop is where you um, define a length in the song and you want to put that looping so you can edit and understand better what you are doing. You can um, alter the, the measure to beat to 8 to 16, whatever it's better for what you were doing at the moment. So in the bottom, in the bottom you have the record button here. You have the play button here. Okay, you have this which brings uh, the locator to the beginning and you have the loop button and just to show you how you can create a loop uh, in Entrack 8 you just um, point your finger to the screen and slide it until you have uh, until, until you have um, chosen the part you have the part you want to loop when you're done you just press the button here and it will repeat until you want. Now let's unselect this. Let's go to the other side. In this part of the screen you have in the first place this button that will connect this app, the N-Track 8, to the Song Tree server. The first button here will try to find uh, tracks for you to record over the second will try to download cover songs so you can play or sing on and the last button here will try to um, upload anything you finished any song any cover song anything that you have finished and recorded it will try to upload it to song tree the second button here will open your mix screen. Uh, here you can uh, see all the tracks you are editing and uh, you will be able for example to um, alter the volume and do some EQ. Uh, on this screen you have the piano roll where you can alter the songs you are using. As you can see, N track 8 brings several song or several um, sounds. You have the option to select them. Let's close it. The, the old metronome help. On this button you can add audio tracks, MIDI tracks step sequencer tracks instrument this is very useful because uh, it's the way you will be able to produce your music and um, at last this um, last icon here hides uh, the settings where you can open a song create new song save it here you can alter audio from um, Android. Usually it will be um, auto done by Android. Sometimes you need to come here and to change something in case it's not working properly. Hope it's not the case. Uh, this version that I am uh, reviewing it's the free app. So they have a paid app, but this one is the free app. Uh, it lacks, for example, 
the export MIDI file. As you see, when I press it, it's not available. It will ask you to pay. Um, MIDI export can be very useful, especially if you are producing, if you are editing um, with the goal of uh, when you are on your home studio to uh, export everything you've done as a MIDI file and open it on your desktop computer and start, uh, start to work um, uh, start to uh, keep uh, developing the, your idea in a more professional way with more tools so if you are um, using the free app you know that this is going to be a, a big um, miss you will have to pay or better not working expecting to export MIDI file because it's not available let's see what is not available to in this free app uh, let's return to mix window and uh, what I found is that uh, yes you have equalization available not a big problem despite the fact that you cannot choose for example what type of equalization you want to use you will be able to uh, for example a lower here the, the lows uh, do something extra here in the eyes but you cannot for example um, convert this to a high cut to a shelf which is very unfortunate it will be very useful despite that if you are using this app as a way um, just to start your uh, productions then expecting to keep working them on your uh, desktop computer it's not a big problem um, let me show you what you will not have here in the FX effects section you will have reverb which is a help you will have chores too uh, as you can see there are more effects here on this list but none of them on the free app version is available and uh, despite it's not a uh, big thing I would say that compressor for most of us is a big thing because sometimes you just put uh, you record a bit of audio and you want to control it and compressor usually is the tool you will use so no no uh, compressor no delay as you can see uh, no phase uh, not a big thing but they are not available unfortunately but I, I understand um, coders need to make a living too and that's the way they do it uh, let's return let's close this window okay um, you can expand tracks by clicking this symbol here you see just click here and the track will expand automatically you'll be able to edit a bit more easily um, things that I don't like in this app or at least that I miss I hope they um, do that sooner is the ability to uh, of course you can expand and do the reverse stuff on the main screen but uh, I really wish that was there was a way to um, expand the main screen screen faster because sometimes it can be a bit annoying a bit too hope that uh, they find some solution because the app is not bad not bad at all would I recommend it uh, for you to um, buy it uh, don't buy it uh, try first uh, the, the free version see how it goes 
test it in your um, smartphone or tablet uh, try to do some edit try to record with it um, and then you will uh, try it. you will find if it's okay for you if it works well on your devices maybe you find something that you don't uh, that you don't like and the, uh, at least you didn't pay money for it but as I am right now I have no big problems with it it works pretty well and um, hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe hit the like button Thank you.